Okay, we have an interesting integral here today from MIT 2025, number five. We have the integral from minus pi over two to pi over two, sine 25x times cosine 20x dx. Okay, well this is interesting right here. This is actually set up for one of our different angle formulas that we can use to reduce this and turn it into basically two terms or two integrals. Using this formula right here, we can reduce it to two sine terms, just the difference of the angles and the sum of the angles. So with the one half, let's bring that up front on this. And then for this first part here, the difference of the angles, it's just gonna be sine five X. Then for the next part, the sum of the angles, that's gonna be sine 45 X. I'll go ahead and integrate what's gonna happen. This is gonna become uh, minus, we'll bring the one half in front of everything, minus cosine five X over five. This one minus cosine 45x over 45 and we just need to evaluate from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. And an interesting thing here is that the angle, these are both odd. As long as these are odd when you plug pi over 2 in, just thinking of like our unit circle up here at any of these pi over 2 plus 2 pi n or whatever, everything up here cosine is going to be 0. Everything down here cosine is going to be 0. So the same thing that's happening here is gonna happen the other way too for the minus values with the odd coefficient here. Each of these are gonna be zero in every case. And so we end up with just zero minus zero or our solution is just zero. But of course I know that someone's already writing their angry comment right now that there's a much faster way. So yeah, well I don't know about much faster because that was pretty quick, but there is a faster way. So let's do the faster way on this. What we can do is use this principle of odd functions. If we have something, if we have an integral going from minus a to a of f of x, and if f of x is an odd function, then we can say that this whole integral is going to be zero. Well, we definitely have the symmetric bounds, so we have a for our pi over 2 value. For this, the thing to know is that sine is an odd function, cosine is an even function. For an even function, sorry, for an odd function, our definition is that we want f of minus x to be minus f of x. If I call this whole thing my f of x, and we'll just plug in minus x to show it. The coefficients don't really matter, but let's just do it anyway. So we plug a minus x in here, we get sine minus 25x times cosine minus 20x. But because cosine is an even function, this minus sign goes away and we can take the minus out front here. So rewriting it, we can write this as minus sine 25x times cosine 20x. But then this here is our f of x, so this is minus f of x, so this works, and so this thing, well not this thing, but any of it, this thing is odd. And because it's odd, that allows us to use this principle here and go right to our solution of zero. So this is one you could actually do in like one second because you see, if you're used to it, you see it's odd, put down a zero and you're done. Okay, that's it for today. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.